So, you're working on new longboard tricks, but you feel like you plateaued or you just can't quite get that next one? I'm going to show you how to start implementing what I call the foundation for flow today to get results quick. I'm also going to show you why learning new tricks doesn't have to be complicated, overwhelming, and difficult, and how you can get started in the next five minutes. Ready, set, go! Yo, 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 hold up. In case you haven't watched the first video, make sure you go do that right now because we covered a lot of important things. And if you're serious about feeling more confident and comfortable on your board, you don't want to miss it. Now, with that being said, let's talk about how you can incorporate the foundation for flow into your sessions today and exactly how you can get started. The philosophy behind this approach is basically to give yourself as many goals and milestones as possible while exploring the endless variations of stylish combos. This is a tactical approach to improving where the focus is put on learning hundreds of different combos and lines rather than just focusing on each new and different trick as the only milestone. The first thing we're going to do today is identify four simple tricks you can do at least 50% of the time. So in this example, I'm going to be doing the front side pivot, the cross step, the ghost ride, and the front side no comply 180. You want to limit the amount of adjustments you take between tricks. First off, this is going to force you to have better form and position, and on top of that, it kind of forces you to do the second trick in a way that isn't quite perfect, but honestly, this is going to make your trick more rounded overall. So essentially what we're doing here guys is we're turning four tricks into 12 unique combo pairs. With this approach, knowing only 10 tricks in total will translate to 90 unique combo pairs or 723 trick lines. Can you guys imagine that? 720 different variations on the same 10 tricks? Damn. Thing is guys, I get DMs from beginner and intermediate riders every single day about being stuck and demotivated. Like they've learned a few tricks and they feel actually quite good at them but they simply don't know how to get more consistent. I'm telling you guys, the foundation for flow is the key to getting more consistent. By focusing on trying to get better at just a certain trick, by doing that certain trick alone is very limiting. And as your style develops, and as you start tying more unique lines together, being confident with all these variations is gonna make your riding so much more smooth and effortless. Also, by going through this exercise with all the tricks you know, it's gonna round out your style and help you discover new and unique combos you never even thought of. On top of this, all the added milestones are gonna give you a sense of accomplishment and keep you stoked. Woo! In my upcoming course, Pure Longboarding, releasing December 21st, 2020, guys, I'm gonna be sharing a lot more strategies with you, such as pushing through the inevitable plateau, we talked a little bit about that today, which tricks work best together, and how to make the most out of every session. So make sure you guys stay on the lookout because in the next couple days, I'm gonna release more information about it and exactly what is included in this course. In the next video, I'm gonna show you a simple trick that you can use to confidently progress quicker than you ever thought possible. This is literally the number one secret I've been using for years and I've barely talked about it publicly. So stay tuned because what I'm about to share with you in the next video is gonna give you the edge you've been looking for. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. And again, make sure you sign up for that early bird waitlist below so you do not miss the chance to join my course before it fills up. Peace.